hey, what's up everybody? This is your girl Miss P and I hope that you are doing fabulous today. I am doing well and honey, I am here to do another Untitled Foolery. It is Wednesday, honey. Yes, over here on Walter Latham TV land. I am very, very excited to be here. Y'all remember I'm coming to America. I am very happy to be here. This past weekend, I went to the Walter Latham <laughs> office honey yes i did i felt like a million dollars i had a chance to meet walter latham he was awesome yolanda hey girl how you doing but thank you so much for all of the comments i really appreciate them keep them coming definitely comment down below make sure to like this video while you're watching just go ahead and click click the like button get it in go ahead and click it if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do so it's free 99 so go ahead do it so let's go ahead and get into it this past week i was actually um on training for my job so y'all know every time i have an experience i have to let you guys know this is going to be a part one this is part one right here and part two will be up next week because honey it was just a lot this was actually a training and they asked us in the email to be business casual. They put casual. They didn't say business attire. So I was like, oh, uh, they put business casual. So I took it upon myself to say, okay, let me go ahead and throw in some awesome blouse type shirts and some nice pants and some cute flats because they said business casual. I didn't do jeans. I did not do flip flops. So. Tell me why, Backstreet Boys, did I go to this training and dara tara? People had on sweaters, business pants, and flip flops, graphic tees, um, dress pants, and uh, what are those shoes? Sperry's? Mm -mm. Big old earrings. Face was beat, but the rest of the outfit was a mess. I wish everybody in their lifetime would go to an etiquette class. I, I, I don't understand it. Since I was in a hotel all week, I did want to talk about this. Why do some hotels not put the outlets close to the bed? Now, where do you guys think the outlet should be? Personally, I feel like there should be one beside your bed. Also, there should be another one like under the light. Yes, because you know you can do the poop poop and the light goes on and off just like this. You'd be like, boop, boop. So you should have like a little outlet so that you can charge your phone. The specific hotel I went to, there was not an ice machine on every floor. I love ice, so I need it on every floor. I had to go downstairs, him downstairs. I had to go downstairs and ask the lady, where's the ice machine? And she was like, oh, I can fill it up for you. I was like, huh? I don't want to come all the way down here to ask you for some ice and I be sitting in the night scratching? Girl, here's another thing I hate with hotels. Why in the world do they only give you 30 channels? You pay enough. Well, I didn't pay. My company paid for it, but they paid enough. I can't even get BT, VH1 or own. What in the world am I supposed to do with my life? I don't even have WeTV to see. We are the Braxton that you see. You know I want to see the Braxtons and it was a good episode. I was pissed. I was very, very mad. Like, because I had training from like 9 in the morning to around 3 in the afternoon. So after 3, if I didn't go out with some of my associates, I would definitely just go back to the room, you know, catch some TV. Thank God for Wi-Fi. But they had no good channels. <sighs> I did not have a roommate. I was so excited because I could walk around but booted naked. Do you guys ever get excited when you're like off somewhere, especially for a business trip where they have to pair you up with somebody and you don't know that person and you like, ew, because you're, you're not accustomed to other people's ways of life. I don't mind being in a training with you and just meeting you, going out to lunch, but living in close quarters, like I got to see you when you come out the bathroom and you done stunk it up. What if you take a duty and you didn't bring no spray? I, mm -mm. I, I really didn't have time. But if I know you, of course, we can room together. Girl, yeah. But, ugh. So, they did provide breakfast. I was very excited for that. They had these good little muffin things. They were real, real nice. But, of course, I tried some milk. Honey, y'all know I don't like milk. It goes back to my childhood. Go back to elementary school with me. Where they had the little milk in the little, um, the packets, the pouches. And you had to put the straw in there. And it would, like, go everywhere. But I had some chocolate milk one time and honey i was running for the border uh, -uh my stomach was uh, eating itself i cannot drink whole milk half or two percent team almond milk let's get it in whoever orders tomato juice go to bed that is disgusting 
even when I'm on a plane and they're like tomato juice, the smell of it, it's like, ew, why do you want ketchup in a glass? Yeah, Snuggles. I was watching TV last night and they had a commercial for the little Snuggles the bear, you know, the little dry sheet, little Snuggle thing. And I was like, oh, look, Snuggles done had plastic surgery because he scared the hell out of me. I could not watch him because he was so mechanical and he was like, I'm Snuggles. I was like, uh-uh, I, I can't. Even when I had, when this goes back to my childhood, my mama bought me a baby alive. I wanted that thing so bad. She bought it for me. It scared the hell out of me. I literally had her under my bed because I was I was a little stupid when I was little. And the thing, you had you could turn it on and off. I'd forget. And she'd be like, yeah, in the night. And oh my God, I just could not. So I don't like anything like that. Chuck it, nothing. Mm -mm. Ah. Okay. I went to Walmart today. Who is going to utilize Walmart's new layaway? It is between September the 16th and December the 14th. Y'all better get it in. I'm definitely going to get it in with some electronics. I don't know what I'm going to buy, but I'm definitely going to utilize their layaway plan. What y'all going to get? Put it down below. I know y'all done seen the commercial and been like, ooh, I'm excited for that. Let's get it in. I wish I Walgreens. <laughs> Okay, I'm going crazy, but this was part one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you guys next week for part two. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye.